All right, campers, are you ready to get kissed? Tonight is all about kisses. Kissing something, kissing, kissing somebody, whatever. To kiss you with music. And I'm gonna do that. You guys gave me a lot of good kissing songs. No, I, I don't have a problem with that. Some people do. They're like, oh, stop kissing me. Well, I get used to it because all night long, we're just gonna do one kiss after another. And we're gonna start with these two kissable boys right here. The Everly Brothers. <laughs> Yes, I'm gonna kiss all of you on the forehead or on the cheek, depending on if you're a boy or a girl. And you get to figure out which one is which. So here are the crystals, because they know what it was like. I kissed them, and they wrote a song about it. I kissed them all. They're so sweet. I just couldn't help myself. I had to kiss each one of them. Tell. Here's one from Syl Johnson, who's going to tell you all about what happens kiss by kiss, and not the band. I think it's about the band. This is a song called Kiss. It was written by Kiss. I don't think so. Well, they did do a disc about it. Band, and the Jay Giles band just wants one last kiss. So Katy Perry kissed a girl and she liked it and wrote a song about it and somebody is like, yo, please sing this song. I'm, I'm not really very familiar with this song. I don't listen to Katy Perry. I'm sorry, I don't. I recognize the title and I remember when the song came out and everybody was like, ooh, she wrote a song about kissing a girl. Well, there you go. I don't know if I liked it as much as Katie liked it, but I like kissing girls. I do that. So I agree with her at least as much as that, as far as that goes. The rest of it just sounds like music they play in malls. And that kind of music drives me crazy whenever I have to go into one of those women's shops because my girlfriend was, wants to look at clothes and I'm just like, oh, get me out of here. This you know, Forever 21 in those places. The music they play just makes me methodic pop. It's just, uh, you know what it is to me? It, I'll tell you what it is to me. It's poison. And Alice Cooper wrote a song all about the way he feels about that music that they play in those women's stores in the mall. <laughs> Cooper knows all about that, because he doesn't like it either. Here's a song from Billy F. Gibbons, B better known as Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top, but he likes to throw that F in there. Billy M. F. Gibbons, if you ask me, he's missing your kissing, so kiss him. Hey. Didn't get past that beard. Maybe that's why he's missing, because of the beard. He's like, you keep kissing him, and he's like, did you kiss me? I can't tell. Anyway, that's enough about that bearded guy. 
and so is Seal. No, Seal is not bearded. He doesn't have any hair, this dude. He just got no hair. Got little pock marks on his face, but he's proud of it. And he's like, I don't care. And I don't need no makeup. Just, just take my picture. I don't have to use any of that, that Clearasil or anything, because it gives me a look on my own. And then I get to call my albums just Seal. And no titles, just Seal. Every single one of them is just Seal. And here's a song about how much he likes to kiss roses. <laughs> Such a very sweet night when we're talking about sweet things like kissing a lady on her hand. Oh, my lady, can I kiss your hand? Why is that a thing? Why was that ever a thing? Use hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is not romantic. Oh, Erica Badu. She wants you to, to kiss her on her neck. I'm sure it's, it's very clean. She says in this song, she says, walk up behind me, kiss me on my neck. Exile will. And they went into exile because they did that. They walked up behind Erica Badu and they started kissing her all over. She says, no, just my neck. Sounds like he's walking, walking up behind Erica Badu. And not just gonna kiss her neck. She said, no, just the neck. Damn it. That's why you boys are in exile. So some things Erica will allow and some things that she will not. Lita Ford says that she wants you to kiss her in a very deadly way. It ain't no big thing. It ain't no big thing. music no no this song sounds a little bit like that i think she was trying to get played in malls you ever heard this song in a mall da -da, da -da. sounds very very mall like i'm not criticizing it i'm just saying it sounds like the kind of song that we would play in the encino mall we'll stay here until the end of this lita ford song while you try on your clothes but after it's done i'm out of here i don't care if, if you're still in the dressing room I'm, there's only so much i can take and then I gotta go and I just, I don't get a pretzel or something. And <laughs> come back later and go, is she done? And like 45 minutes later, she comes out and is like, no, I didn't like anything. Really? Oh, this tortures music. When you try it on everything in the store and you don't like anything. How many of you girls do that? Me, usually when I go and I, I just pick out clothes, it's like, okay, I want this, this, and this. And I'll try one of them on and go, yeah, that fits. Okay. So I know the rest of them fit too, so I just go and I buy them. girls. You gotta try on everything in the store. And you know what drives me crazy? Is the way girls' stores are are set up. They're not set up like men's shops. Men's shops are all organized in a fashion that makes sense. You got big signs next to each, you know, the pants is like it's just Levi's and you know, they go into a women's store and it looks like somebody's messy closet. Everything's just everywhere. How do you know what you're even looking for? There's, these clothes are just all over the place. How did you even find that? This is like the messiest room I've ever seen. Thing to me with all that, all that Katy Perry music playing in the background. This is like, no, I can't take it. Here's one from uh, Tom Jones doing a, a Prince song. Just kiss. 
Oh, no, not the van. Think I better dance now. Check it out. I see Tom. Tom do this song, and man, that boy likes to shake it. He knows how to shake it for them ladies to get them to throw their panties and their bras up on stage. I'm telling you, they do it. They do it. I've seen him like four or five times, and every time he gets panties and, and hotel room keys. For At your age, mama, not your shoe size to have an attitude. Oh, you got an attitude, Tom! And it works for him. Oh, yes, he's had plenty of kisses. He must have a ton of hand sanitizer and lip sanitizer. And all this hand sanitizer is making it so that none of, nobody develops immunity to anything anymore. Except Tom Jones. So we all need to hang out with Tom Jones. And now, how many more kisses are left on the list? Two. Now I need some. And it's a chapstick. Anyway, let's get on to the list. The list of Daryl Hall and John Oates. Because your kiss is on their list. Chapstick. I really need to put some on right now. I'll pull over at 7-Eleven and get some chapstick. Except I'm, I'm afraid that, you know, that Billy Idol will be in there and he'll start yelling at me. What happens when you don't get enough kisses? You go walk into a 7-Eleven and start yelling at people. You're like, no, you stop that. You rebel. We got one more song to do. And no, it is not from Billy Idol. And this is from Steam. It is nah, nah. Hey, hey. Kiss him goodbye. But don't kiss me goodbye. Just yet. You gotta wait. Until the song is over. And then we'll kiss him before we'll kiss each other. Goodbye, my man. Hey, 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 hey. Wait a